This video is about tomato hornworms. Tomato hornworms are very destructive and I don't like them in my garden, guys. We are looking at the top of this huge tomato plant. This is a tomato volunteer that is almost 5 feet tall. And look at this, guys. There are at least three worms in this plant. Sure, there are so many chemical sprays that you can use to get rid of the tomato horn worms. But my most favorite thing to do is to hand pick the tomato horn worms and drop them in a soap solution. So you put water in a bowl and then you squeeze a little bit of some dish soap and then you drop this tomato horn worm and that's what kills them. Another way to get rid of this very destructive insect is by giving this to your chickens. So if you're growing some chickens, chickens love the tomato horn worms. And in fact, since this tomato is growing just next to the chicken run, I'm going to drop this first tomato horn worm inside my chicken run and we'll see what's gonna happen. Hey chickens, are you ready for your snack? So guys, we're gonna be giving this tomato horn worm to the chickens, look at that. They are ready, they're waiting for their snack. This is rich in protein, so this is awesome for them. So I'm just going to drop the worm here up on top. Oh, there you go. Oops, one of them ran away. Oh, they're fighting over it. <laughs> that looks so funny. Where did they go? Yeah, that chicken over there. <laughs> it keeps on running. It has the hornworm in its mouth. Look. Oh, I can't ever get it. That's the funniest thing. Okay. While they are chasing each other, let's go get another one. So they will have another option. So we're gonna go this way. Oh, this one worm on top is still munching on the stem of the plant. See that one? We're gonna get this. Honestly, I don't like touching the worm with my hand. So here I'm wearing my gloves and then I'm just gonna pull this. Look at that. Oh, look at this guy. Let's take this to the chicken run. We're gonna stand right here and you see all the chickens are still waiting for their tasty treat and we're gonna drop this to make the horn warm inside the chicken run watch this guys there you go oh the same chicken got it <laughs> she's so fast okay there is a third tomato horn worm that's hiding underneath the leaf where is it I think it's right here so if you can see that it's right here um, yeah and if you notice the color of this tomato horn worm is the same as the color of the leaves of the tomato because that's how they do it they kind of mimic the color of the plant that's their defense mechanism so you cannot see them right away but there's a cool trick to this one at night if you use a uv flashlight you can easily see the tomato hornworms because their skin will glow under a uv light so you can come here like whenever it's dark you know and then you can shine a uv flashlight on them and then you can see where they are like easily easier than during the daytime it's time to give the third tomato hornworm to the chickens. Ooh, a different chicken got it. She's happy. She's the winner. You can tell that there is a tomato hornworm in your plant because they will eat the leaves. They usually start near the top of the plant. So that's the top of the plant. And then this one here is the second or third leaf and it's gone so near that leaf you're gonna have to uh, look because the tomato hornworm is in there hiding somewhere and true enough so this is the one that's completely eaten and then you look at this next one here the guy 
there. There's the hornworm. So let's get this and throw this in the chicken run again. This is the fourth one that I found today. I just realized that there are so many tomato hornworms in here, guys, because here's another one. This is the row next to the previous one that I showed you. And these leaves were also eaten. And then I found the culprit and it's right here. So let's take this. And then there's actually another one. Not sure if you can see that. But there's a uh, gray or brown, this one, that's a little warm. Um, it also eats the leaves. Uh, I can't see it from here, so let's go to um, under the, the tree. Oops, hold on. So this tomato hornworm is number five, and then this black one or dark gray one that has a line i found this in the same tomato plant where i got this green tomato hornworm so we'll drop both of them in the chicken run here <laughs> the chickens are waiting again they know that they're gonna have a treat okay get that Of course, if you don't have chickens, you can just also squish the tomato hornworms or step on them. Sometimes, if the leaves are not totally eaten yet, it's hard to find the worm. What you have to do is look for some droppings. So this one here, there's a tomato hornworm dropping. It's the poop of the worm. And then here's another one. On this leaf this means that above these leaves there should be at least one tomato hornworm and the bigger they are the bigger is the dropping that you will find you can also look at the ground because the droppings also um, drop in the ground now here I was looking for it and I was like it's kind of hard to find it actually I found the culprit and it's right here So far, I have given my chickens six of the tomato hornworms and then I found five more. So that's 11 of them and I'm going to give all of this to my chickens as well. Just going to grab this. Look at that. There are a couple more new droppings in this bowl. So let's go this way. <laughs> Look at that. The chickens are waiting for me. Let's go this way. Let's have a parade, chickens. Ooh. Here, I'm just gonna pour this up here. And go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you'll never miss a video. Thank you for watching and happy gardening!